so this time I'm tuning a G7 antenna for 145 to 148 MHz as specified by the client so I initially restored the antenna by replacing the antenna radials with a new one so pardon the noise as I'm too close to the highway cars are passing occasionally so let's go back to the tuning the antenna contains three loading coils one at the base on the second part and the third part the tunable parts are the aluminum elements of the antenna the loading coils are marked as white elements on the antenna so the usual problem that you will encounter are loose retaining pins on the loading coils you just need to press it before you can tune the antenna to the original specification so the manual says that the bandwidth of the antenna is just 2 megahertz from your target frequency the tunable parts of the antenna are the aluminum elements so you just need to make sure that you measure it according to the antenna cutting chart taking note of your target frequency for this one I center it at 146.5 megahertz so that the client can still use it on 145 to 149 with still acceptable WR less than 2 is to 1 so the antenna specifically says that the antenna will perform 1.5 is WR taking note that you don't exert too much effort on bringing down the antenna SWR closer to 1 unless you are going to use an additional tuning method which is either a capacitor or a pacing stub to tune the antenna so this is still touching the branch of a tree which I cut to hold the antenna so I will be tuning the antenna and checking the frequency response on the nano VNA which is now connected to the feed point I will be holding the base of the antenna which is the PBC so I make sure that it doesn't touch the branch so let's check and focus the camera to focus so let's see if I can focus it clearly okay so what I will do next is hold the base of the antenna making it stable first and check the frequency response So it's difficult to film while holding the antenna without any help. So let's check. So as we can see, we have 1.5 is WR on 146.5 on point according to the instruction manual. So let's check the lowest portion of the band SWR so I'm moving the car source by pressing the button on my nano BNA so as we can see I move the car source to my the antenna is moving so yeah it's now fixed the SWR on 145 megahertz is 1.72 so let's try to move it up now so I'm moving the I'm pressing the button on the nano BNA 
Okay, let's check the frequency response. As we can see, we have 1.45 SWR on. Let me check the So, as we can see, we have 1.46 SWR on 1.48 I'm still holding the antenna vertically so this antenna is working properly according to the instruction manual and it's ready for use so thank you for watching